can't do no video laid up like this. Like, y'all been watching Mariah's World? How she be laid up talking to us like this? This is not... I, I am coming today to just talk to you like a friend and give you a life update on what's going on with me. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I am back in the space in the past three months. Your girl has been consistent and you know that has never happened in my life. I finally have the time to dedicate to YouTube and to you. I want you all to be thinking and brewing on ideas and thoughts and put them down below and make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe baby and if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life make sure that you head over to the blog channel and click subscribe over there as well I have had a lot of things that have happened a lot of ups and downs but overall I count it all joy because there's been times where I go ghost and there's perfect reasons for it a lot of you all that follow me over on the vlog know that I went through a cosmetic procedure recently on these teeth, baby. Smile. <laughs> Not that I didn't love my smile before, but there was something I was a little bit more conscious about, and that was about my gums before I had this mini surgical procedure done. I had gums that were lower laying over my teeth, especially on the front four teeth. I wanted that changed. I have a really good friend who's a dentist, and she had told me what the procedure was, and I really didn't even think too much about it, but I happened to be at the dentist's office getting a cleaning, and I mentioned it, and he got like hype. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh! This would be great. I could see it opening up your smile. You're a pretty woman. I just know that this would just put that mm in it. For me, it wasn't even about, you know, pretty, not pretty. Just you being comfortable with yourself overall. It's what I preach to you all, all the time. You have to be happy with you. Just because I changed something doesn't mean that you're not happy with the person that you are. It's always okay to improve as long as it's done in a healthy manner. If you head over to the video down in the info, section then you will see that whole process basically before my gums were just a little bit lower than one would have liked and uh it kind of covered up the beautiful teeth that were already there so I didn't have veneers I didn't have anything like that done which I think is awesome too I already had nice teeth underneath the gum so all they had to do was cut away the gum and I say all they had to do but it's like you know who out here just chopping off gums it's, it's still healing a little bit oh y'all I'm just so happy with the result and my mindset is in the right place. I didn't do it for anybody else. I didn't do it for anything else but me. I'm so happy I had this done. And if you have any questions about it, put those questions down below. Hopefully that video will help you answer some of the questions as well. I actually waited until I did it to even really consult with people or talk to people about it. I told my mother after I had the process done and my mother told me, that is the best investment I feel like you've made in a very long time. I have no problems with telling people that it's a process and it's something that I decided to do for me. I noticed that I smile now. Before I used to do this, but now I'll be like, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> you all have asked about my love life because you've seen my boyfriend. We have yet to do a boyfriend tag. We will be doing it closer to Christmas, so stay tuned Sundays and Thursdays. But over on the channel, I have shared some bits and pieces of us hanging out and some things that we do. I'll put some of the links of our videos together down below. He's an awesome guy. We're both from St. Louis, but happen to live in Texas. We have been together over a year now, and I didn't introduce him to the vlog until about a year into our relationship relationship. Both of us wanted to be in a good place with each other, be sure about this and, and be happy in our skin together before really exposing it to everybody. My best friends have met him. My mother's met him. Me and his mom love each other. It's just a very good situation. Actually, we grew up about five miles apart, but didn't know each other. But we know the same people. That's what's so interesting about life is that he was always there, but he wasn't there. Y'all are going to see him soon here in a boyfriend tag but like I said I already kind of show him on the vlog I have several videos with him I'm having an invasion of the puppy right now so that's my little doggy daughter I say hi Billy hi girl hi I'm usually very private about relationships I think people assume that because I never posted or really became open with the relationship that I didn't really have them but I did it says a lot it says volumes about this relationship because I don't think I ever felt as 
comfortable sharing those relationships because I wasn't always sure of them. And that's okay. I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? And I think this time has been so different and my maturity level is higher. His maturity level is there. And I think that it helps us to grow and to share a lot more. So I'm very happy in my relationship. Is it a perfect relationship? No, but nobody's relationship is perfect. And I think that's a part of maturity is learning that. Your relationship ain't gonna please everybody. And so what? I'm very happy in where we are as friends first. Before we even made things official, we were like friends for like three months. We ended up meeting online and we talked on the phone for like a month before we even met. More than anything, he my dog, you hear me? That's my boy. And this has been the really the first time in a relationship I felt this. I don't like the word comfortable. I'm one of those people who, if things weren't a certain way, then I'm like, I'm done with this. If I didn't get my way, then I was done with it. And I can share that with you all because you know, you all have watched me grow and seen different things. And just like I am in business and in life, I'm a hard worker. And so if I didn't feel that I was going to get the results that I wanted, I would kind of leave those relationships real quick. And you can't always be like that in love. And so I'm learning, I'm so happy now to be where I am in terms of maturity and growth in my life at this point. Watch out for that boyfriend tag and make sure that you tune in and head on over to the blog and make sure that you subscribe so that you can see some of my updates. As far as fitness goes, I have really been hitting it hard working it on out. I really aspire to eventually compete in a show. I don't know when I wanna do that or how I wanna do that. I've really been taking more time to learn my body inside and out. And to my new subscribers, this is 10 years of keeping 108 pounds off. Now I've had some snafus along the way. I've really learned the ways of my body and I'm really learning the things that work for me. It's definitely a lifestyle. It's something I see as a forever part of me. Something I've accepted that fitness is, even though I'm good at it and you all see that I'm able to do it, I realize that being a heavier woman at one point, being addicted to food at one point, being pretty much depressed about where I was in terms of my body. That's a forever struggle. It never goes away. It's something you always have to keep in check, almost like a real addiction. And I've worked that out in who I am. And so fitness is a part of me. It's something I crave. It's something I love. It's something that keeps me centered, goal oriented. I'm still very happy with my body. And now I accept a lot of the things I can't change. So just to show you, hold on, how y'all, y'all always gotta get some deodorant on me. But like, I'm very happy with my body, very happy with the shape of my body, very happy with how far I've come and how much I've been able to stay focused and on top of my fitness game. I couldn't ask for anything more at this point in terms of fitness other than taking it to that next level and that's what I'm doing. So you all will see a lot more fitness videos from me, not just for you, but also for me. I'm really doing a lot more of my cooking videos, a lot more videos that entail what I eat in a day. So if you've missed some of those, I've linked some of them down below. I wanna make sure that you all have the chance to go through this lifelong healthy journey with me. But right now, it's not about counting a calorie. It's not about a certain lifestyle. It's not about being vegan, vegetarian, pesco vegetarian. It's more about what's healthy for me. What's gonna be good for my life for the long run? I can't live this healthy journey for anybody just like I haven't lived any of my other journeys for anybody. You know, I have reincorporated meat into my diet. Yes, I did. Don't crucify me, but if you try to, Bella really, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with you and hit my camera. I went return to me. I really learned me. Cause I was one of those people that, that meat is a no, no. You get away from it, you don't do it. And I'm gonna explain this more in another video. I started doing my research on certain meats. So I stay away from things that aren't grass fed, that aren't organic, that aren't more pure, that aren't less fat, less cholesterol. Those are things that you have to really learn and take time to learn instead of taking other people's advice for your health. My health is not going to be your health. The way I eat might not be the way that you eat. As long as you're achieving the results that you want and you are taking care of your body and your girl stays at the doctor getting that cholesterol, that blood pressure, that sugar checked. Yes, I do. In fact, over on the blog, you can check me out going to the doctor sometimes. So as far as fitness, guys, right now I'm pretty happy, but I know that I have some improvement points and y'all are going to see some of those things that I'm doing to kind of keep 
keep myself in check and and in balance and i welcome your questions i welcome your comments i welcome your video suggestions in this area because i definitely want to be the best me that i can be as far as my career guys god is really blessing me and showing me that at a young age you can get it take it love it man you talking about so motivated so happy so joyous and having to wait for your moment you can't just bake up greatness you got to work for greatness my career is years in the making i went to college at 17 years old to be where i am now i am in my tenure and promotion year i'm so excited so happy and joyous beyond that i have been speaking at different universities different events and one of my biggest successes yet has been starting and running a full service psychological assessment clinic on campus i have had this dream since i was 23 years old and i am the director and the pioneer behind that as well as my students and what's even crazier about it guys that i have been published with my students writing about how that center began so i'm hoping that down below you all are able to access that article but not only that i've been published by the journal of black studies in the area of natural hair oh my god that that one was a big one you know what i'm saying so that for me has been something great and what i talked about was self-esteem and african-american women and how that fits in with our natural hair and how we present ourselves i'm so happy about that i have published book chapters other publications and another publication in the work i am so blown away by how god has taken this little girl from st louis and I'm a prime example of if you stay, if you stay focused, if you stay on your path, I don't care what it is, you can get it. Don't let nobody tell you what you can do, man. But not only that, I've been blessed to do other things because of you too. Because of you all who continue to put my content out there. I cannot thank you enough. So I've been recently, I filmed with The Grio. I filmed an online show that you all were exposed to, My Life Offline with Miss Bond and Chime. I also have filmed with Refinery29. Things that I just never knew could happen for me. Being in magazines, being on television. Who would have ever thought that this could happen? And I'm humbled by it all. I have earned my licensure. I am a licensed psychologist in the state of Texas. I'm a licensed specialist in school psychology. I'm a nationally certified school psychologist. Baby, your girl could do it all from school to clinical. I'm just, I, I just can't even contain my happiness and not just for me, but for others who are like me, for the yous out there, for the, for the others of us that felt that at one point they wasn't going to make it. They was just going to be a nobody. They was going to Prove everybody right. That's where I am. This is a brief just kind of update on those things. And I hope that it has been a blessing for you guys to hear some of these things. But make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you share. Especially since I am now back. I hope that I can be a blessing to you all. Any questions you all have, let me know down below. I'm also going to be starting to do Q&As. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I love you. Hopefully, hopefully you've gotten something from these life updates. Very thankful for you and your support. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.